Harbortown Fly Fishing presents Fishing in New Zealand. This episode will feature us catching browns using dry flies. We started the morning with a water taxi ride across the lake to the hut. Then we immediately dropped our things off to head out to go fishing. There's a bigger one up front. But I'll take what I can get. Fly, baby. <laughs> My dream to catch a seven or eight pounder on a dry. Some big, nice brown, but never on a dry fly. Uh -huh. Some like the small ones always went for the little midges and things. So I am very happy. Wow! What a fish! So just let them stabilize a little bit. It's a good fish. So you want a bit of side strain downstream now? Yeah. We're probably going to have to follow him down a pool or two. So you'll be able to get him into this lip very shortly. Yeah. So bring some line in and walk towards him. And just keep on going down this thing. Yeah, there you go. So get some line first because it's a bit too much out for what we want. We keep on going up towards them. And now I want you to get them down into the gut. Oh, I'll leave them there. Yeah, just hold them in there. So if you can pull his head up now and swing him towards me. Just swing him towards me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we tricked him. That was tough. That was tough. I don't know how many casts I tried to get to it. Listening to my guide teaching me the proper way to cast here in New Zealand and look at the rewards. Our first day on the river was a success. 
Now that the temperature is dropping and it's beginning to rain, it's time to take our long hike back to the hut. Tim, what do you think? It's not for everybody. This isn't for everybody. Wow. Oh, this is beautiful. save your life. Nice warm place and a bit of warm firewood. It's the next morning. Others are arriving by boat in need of shelter from the rain. All right, Harbor Town fly fishing. We just spent a nice night in one of the, one of their huts. Um, now we're up early. The forecast is rainy, but I'm still hopeful that we'll catch fish today. So hopefully today it'll be a good day. But we're walking one of their many trails here because it rained all night and the water levels on the river went up. So we have to hike a little bit further to go fishing today. Check in later. Okay, we just linked up and crossed chest deep water back there, waiting here for everybody to cross the river safely. They suggest that we link up so that all of us can help each other getting across the river. That was successful. I wasn't nervous about it at all. The link system worked. <laughs> Good job, baby. Woo! Woo! Oh, the trash line! Where do you think I sent you out there? Trout on the dry fly. My first one. 
an okay way to start. Thank you. You're a fly. You're a guidance. Woo! Woo! Good job, Slim. Thank you, too. Okay, what you just witnessed was me for the first, very first time catching a brown trout on a dry fly. My first cast, I couldn't see the fly, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I landed, but it wasn't a good cast, I guess. But my second cast, when I was able to notice where my fly landed, it was a perfect cast right in front of the big brown trout. And as you saw the results, but I'm just ecstatic. I'm proud of myself. New Zealand fishing here is so tough. You have to have all of your skills, all of your fly tying um, skills, all of your knot tying skills, all of your physical stamina to hike back to the back country and enjoy this fishery. Harbor Town fly fishing, we are fishing in New Zealand, catching big brown trout on a dry fly. Woo! On this fishing journey, we've experienced catching browns on the dry fly and staying overnight in a hut. Here we go, guys. Have a good, good time. Yeah. Good now it's time to water taxi back to get on the road to drive to our next expedition.